everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you're all doing well and today I have a lesson for you on division that would be fun for us to learn in Minecraft okay awesome let's get started I'm inviting four friends into my server and since they're newer to the game I thought I'd, I'd gift them some items to get them started like logs and iron ingot to be able to craft some of the most important things uh, I'm going to start them with 56 logs, and we're going to learn about division by separating that into the four chests. So Laurel, Claire, Ella, and Natalie, let's find out how many logs they'll each get. All right, so let's get started with our first problem. So 56 divided by four. So what I love to start with when I'm thinking about division is I like to start with equal groups because I feel like drawing a picture can really help us understand what division is, how it looks, that kind of thing. So let's just dig in and get started. So since it's divided by four, I'm going to draw four circles and you can do that with me too on your paper. So let's draw four circles. Then before I start, I like to think about the, the dividend or the number that I'm going to divide, which is 56. And I like to think about that as a base 10 block drawing. So I'll show you what I mean. So I see 56 and I start with longs and I'm going to draw them like this. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Then I have six. So I'm going to draw units or ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that way it looks like it's going to be easy to, to take that amount and start separating them into the groups um, because I can see exactly how much I have. Once I start, I'll know how much I have left. So I think it's going to be really good. So now I look at my longs and I ask myself, do I have enough to give each of the groups a long? What do you think? Okay, you got it. I have, I have a five and I only have four groups, so I think I have enough. So let's give one, two, three, four. I had enough. So now that I've done that, I like to cross them out in my drawing of the dividend. So I'm gonna go like this, one, two, three, four. Now I can see that I have one long left so that's not enough to start giving uh, the groups another long. And then I have six units left. Okay, so what do you think I could do with that long? Um, I, can't, I can't divide it equally, it wouldn't be fair. And so is there a way to break that up and be able to still divide it? What do you think? Okay, yeah, you might be thinking that we can split it up into 10 ones, which is exactly what we want to do. It's called regrouping, and it's going to help us be able to separate it. So there's the 10 dots. So now I have 16 dots all together, so I can just start giving them to the groups, just start separating them out. That's what division is all about. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Sometimes I kind of stop and think, okay, do I have enough to keep going? I think I do. 13, 14, 15, 16, I did. So now where do you think the answer is, because it looks like we're done. We've we've uh, separated every single thing. Uh, I'm going to cross those units out. Every single thing is in a group, and it's all equally shared. It's a fair share, so it's perfect. So now, where does the answer live? 
Okay, you might be noticing that in one group, there is a long and four ones, so that's 14. And so 14 is our answer. 56 divided by four equals 14 per group. Great job. All right, now we can come back and give Laurel and each of the friends 14 logs, like we just figured out. And after we're done with this, we can figure out, since we have 64 iron ingot, we are going to figure out how much each of the friends will get of iron ingot. All right, let's look at this next one. So we have 64 divided by four. And just like the last one, how many groups do I need to draw to solve this problem? Okay, great, four circles for the four friends. So let's draw those. And then just like on the last one, I like to draw the base 10 drawing to really help me start separating into groups. So let's do that together. How would I draw 64? Okay, so I've got six longs and four ones. Let me draw that. All right, so now I just love the visual because we can really see, do we have enough longs to put them into the groups? Maybe put one in a group. What do you think? Yes, we do. So let's start with that. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to eliminate those on the side there. And now I just have two longs left and four ones. So what do you think? Can I do something with those longs? Do I have enough to give the groups another long? No, I don't. I only have two and it wouldn't be fair to give some of the groups those longs and some don't get another one. So it always has to be a fair share and equal. So we need to, just like on the last one, we need to do a little regrouping. So what can I turn those, what can I break those two longs up into? Okay, awesome. I can do ones and it makes 20 of them. So let me draw those. Okay, and now it looks like I've got a total of 24 ones. So now I can just start putting those into the groups until I'm down to nothing because division is really just like repeatedly subtracting things from the dividend till you get down to zero and then you'll have your groups and your answer. Okay, let's start. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna stop after each round because I want us to start noticing a pattern here. So I said four at the end of this round. Let's see what the next one is. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, do you notice that? We said four, then eight. Try again. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so four, eight, 12. What do you notice there? What are, what's happening? Is there a pattern? Okay, we're counting by fours, and it's making me think of my multiplication facts uh, by fours. So I want you to notice that connection there between division and multiplication. All right, let's keep going. So we ended with 12. Now we're going to do 13, 14, 15, 16. Should I keep going? Okay, yep, I should. I've got 24, so I've got more to go. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I am all done. 
I have just separated everything into a group and now I can find my answer. What do you think? What is the quotient? Okay, I think you're counting up one group right now. So let me double check with you. So I'm seeing 10 and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Put it together, it's 16. So 64 divided by four equals 16. Great job. All right, once again, we'll come back here and let's give each friend 16 iron ingot. All right, and then after we're done uh, giving all the friends their, uh, their supplies, then we are gonna try a problem that's a little bit bigger. So let's try a problem that is 224 divided by four. We'll go back to the whiteboard and give this larger problem a try. Here's Jerry the Llama. Don't you think my friends are gonna like him? Hey, Jerry. Okay, so since I am dividing by four, I am going to draw four circles to start this problem out. So do this with me. Okay, there's my circles. Okay, so let's get started with the flats first. Do I have enough of those to give each group one flat or 100. Okay, you're right, we don't have enough. And we don't want it to be an unequal share, we want it to be fair. So we couldn't just give, you know, some of the circles 100 and some of them don't get any, so that just wouldn't be fair. So we need to think of what to do with those 200s. Do you have any ideas? Is there a way that we could maybe break them apart to be able to do an equal share? Okay, you might be thinking about how we can break a hundred up into tens or longs. So maybe that could be a good place to start. So I'm gonna, in my drawing on the side, I'm gonna start breaking up a flat. I'll cross it out and then I'll Break it up into 10 tens. There we go. And let's think about it for a minute. So when we do something like that, we aren't changing the number at all because 10 groups of 10 is 100. So that's great. We're not changing the number 224. It's still the same amount. We are just regrouping it a little bit so that we can do the division. So just kind of think about that as we do this problem. Okay, so now let's do that to the other flat because we still can't really divide that either. We can't separate that into groups either. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 longs equals that other 100. Okay, now we've got plenty of longs we can start separating them into groups. So it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, four. Sometimes I like to stop at the end of each round just to make sure I'm on the right track and to kind of pay attention to the numbers that I'm saying. So I just separated four into groups and I have total, let's see, I have 10, 20, 21, 20, I have 22 longs total. So I can kind of keep track over there too. As I separate some longs out, I can cross them out in my little set over here. One, two, three, four. And if we think about it, division is really just repeatedly subtracting from the large amount you start with you're separating it into groups, so you're repeatedly taking away from that larger number. Okay, so let's keep going. So now we've got five, six, seven, eight. 
Okay, I'm going to get rid of those six, seven, eight over in my uh, larger collection that I'm starting with. My The vocabulary for it is dividend. Okay, so now let's keep going. 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm starting to notice a pattern here. So I said 4, 8, 12. What am I counting by? Okay, awesome. 4. Since I'm dividing by 4, I'm making 4 equal groups. It's connected with multiplication, so it's counting by 4s, groups of 4. Okay, I'm going to get rid of those four that I just separated out. Okay, and now I can see what I have left. Let's keep going. I still have enough to um, separate four more, it looks like. Okay, so now I'm at 13, 14, 15, 16, and I'll eliminate those over there. 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, and let's look at what I have left. I have one, two, three, four, five, six left. And so that's definitely enough to do another round. So it's always good to kind of keep track of that. Okay, so 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, and I'll eliminate them over there. 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, and I have two longs left. Is that enough? to start separating those into the groups. Okay, you got it, that is not enough. So we will have to do something with those. So what do you think? Is there something that we can do to break those up? Just like we broke the flats up. Okay, you got it. We can break the longs up into ones. So I'm gonna do that. I have two longs, how many ones would that be? Okay, you got it, 20 units or ones, so I'm gonna draw those real quick. Okay, so now I have 20 ones there, and then I've got four, so I have 24 ones to work with all together. And that sounds like a four fact. So I think this is going to work out perfectly, but let's check and see. Let's start separating those ones into the groups. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. It did work out perfectly. So we just got rid of all the whole number. 224, we have put all of it into the four groups and they're all equal. So it works out perfectly. We want to know just one group or sometimes we say each group. So how much is in each group or one group? So count that up. Make sure when you're counting those longs that you're counting by tens. All right. I got 56. So check that with your answer. Double check your group. See if you agree with me. Well, great job on these problems. I hope this was fun for you and that it helps you in your class or at home. And I hope you have a good day. Bye.